Hi, I'm Abigail Foster. I'm in the Monday night class. I did my project on the Freedom Writers Diary book. Um, this book was actually written by Aaron Gruwell, who was an English teacher at Wilson High School in racially divided Long Beach, California. Um, this book was published in 1999. She actually started teaching in 1994 when she was assigned 150 unprivileged students who were labeled as most likely dropouts. Um, Gruel immediately came to understand that unless the students learned tolerance and respect that they had little or no chance of learning anything and would most likely drop out of high school. She introduced them to books about other teenagers in crisis because these students, um, a lot of them were either in gangs or came from broken homes. And so she gave them books such as um, Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl, and Slata's Diary. Um, Gruwell worked numerous of jobs to help pay for visits from Holocaust survivors and community leaders and organized field trips to take, um, to place it, to take her students to places like the Museum of Tolerance. Um, but her most inspirational assignment to her students were for all of them to write diaries of their own. Um, so basically they wrote diaries of their like biggest secrets like their home life and their their painful um, secrets and fears and she hoped that this would just change their lives completely. Um, so when this diary came out in 1999 it was just a book length collection of all their diaries. Um, and there's actually some quotes from the diaries that I have here. For instance, um, on diary entry, um, I think it was 64. The color purple is coming from my mother's eyes where my stepdad had punched her. That's when I began to understand that the color purple isn't just a color or the name of a book. So evidently this student had read the color purple and I guess she compared it to her own um, life story. Uh, a lot of these entries were just really, really harsh. Some of them talked about how they had to um, raise their siblings or um, pay rent because their parents didn't have any money, so they had to come up with all of the money themselves. And every one of Gruel's students went to college. Several pursued and master degrees and doctorates. Um, and she just decided to publish this book. And um, basically, I mean, that's just about it. It's just about all their dire injuries and. Um, she actually, when she left Wilson High in 1998, um, she expanded the Freedom Writers Foundation. It's a nonprofit organization she founded while fundraising for class activities. So she helps, um, high schools who are in the same, or with, who have students in the same situation that her students were in. So, I mean... She um, came a long way, and she touched every single one of her students' life, lives, and that's just about it. So, thank you.